These are turns that I shot last summer with my neighbor Jeff. Uh, it was a really nice spring day over at Woodward and we got some good clean shots. We are gonna focus on these turns right here to start and I am gonna show you how you can practice this kind of skiing in your own living room. Balance is a huge part of my skiing and I'll show you how I gain it and how I practice the positions that allow me to ski like this. So we're gonna start on a chair. Okay, right foot. For years I've been searching for a way to more accurately practice carving in a dry land environment. This two chair and two stool setup gives me the ability to walk through all the movements of the turn from apex to apex. Dynamic position. So that's the movement flow that I go through while I'm skiing. You can practice this anywhere in your own house. Just get some chairs, some stools. I like the two levels. Here we go, right foot again. Go. Moving through, I'm balancing. I'm trying to be tight here. Come on, my feet come underneath. My feet coming out, I'm sending them out. A little behind. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And you see, I ended up here. Not so angular position, but I got there. And I practiced the movements and went through. Now, those were some more real life examples. Let's move into more of a perfection example. This is a great head-on photo montage of the turn. First, we will let it play through quickly, then we will get back between the chairs and run through it at one frame per second. We always start our practice at the apex of the turn, then we progress through the shaping into completion. This is the loading phase of the turn where maximum outside ski pressure is achieved and g-forces are being resisted. Moving towards completion, g-forces reduce and the skis begin to move under the center of mass. In the initiation of the turn, you will notice that the skis move away from the center of mass. My torso remains in the same place while my feet move under, then away from my body through transition. There it is at one frame per second. Now we will back up and move through the same sequence at two seconds per frame. Moving through completion, outside ski pressure is maintained while g-forces reduce as the center of mass rises up and the skis move under my hips. The stools are necessary to properly demonstrate transition and completion because they allow us to realistically unweight the skis. Then move into the new turn with less than body weight pressure or even no pressure in the case of a jump switch. This less than body weight pressure is maintained until the outside ski goes back under load somewhere right about here. Apex is a position of strength, it's a position of awesomeness, it's the coolest part of the turn, however, it is my contention that it is the least important part of the turn. Let's take a look at one of these real life turns where I move from the left foot to the right foot. Loading through completion, unweighting, negative pressure, moving into apex. Now let's put each turn in sequence before we fully break down the turn. Here I go. Through. See my knees are parallel. Moving towards the camera. The camera's positioned to be on the business end of this turn. Now I'm going this direction. This is where I'm going. I'm riding up. I'm going this way. Coming up. I need to be able to push my hands here because there's some weightlessness that goes on in this part of the turn. I'm not there. Into this part of the turn. That was weightless. That move there was weightless. Now we go full forward. But now I'm putting pressure, but it's light. But it's light. I'm not committed here with my body. And now I'm starting to load. The load comes from here and through the outside leg. And I'm loading. I'm extending my legs. Extending my legs. I'm loading through here. Lay down position. And that is how I make these turns and how you can too few things about the setup you want to know where your fall line is okay so mine is going directly in this direction that way when I come to here you're getting the business end of the turn which is the transition and you're seeing how long I spend through the transition and get the idea that I'm actually focused more on traveling that way than I am in traveling that way my movements are designed to get me going in this direction and then get me turned and going in this direction again and I spend very little time worrying about going this way so that's why the camera's over there we have this camera here so you can see it directly coming at you maybe that's a very view but this one here this is the business end of where the turn is we're highlighting it we're focusing on it and this is the part of the turn that I'm going to teach you how to utilize hang out in and become a better skier
Apex is an easy thing to get yourself into. Right now, I am at the apex of the turn. I'm going down the fall line and I'm loaded to the outside. I've got pressure on the tip, the middle, and the tail of the ski, and the ski's bent, and I'm trying to get myself going over that way, okay? And so I push through there. Now, the ski's gotta keep coming this way, so I'm resisting the forces from the tip through my core right here. I'm pushing here, I'm obviously pushing through the quad, but it's, the focus is right here, I'm tight here, pushing, 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 and now I'm lifting. I'm still riding the ski, riding, and this is, I spend more time in this part of the turn than any other part of the turn, riding, 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 and now I'm unweighting. There may be a jump sometimes, and this is part of the unweighting, and now I'm upside down. I'm actually sliding my feet because I've used the momentum from the old turn. I've popped a little bit, and I've got a little bit unweighting, kind of like going over a roller coaster. That's why you need the stools. There is no tipping of the body into the turn. That's not part of base skiing. I don't think that's part of anyone's skiing. Maybe it is, maybe it works. But in base skiing, there's a little unweighting from the energy of the old turn. You're sliding, you're sliding. Maybe rolling, the skis could be tracking. But I'm lifting, I'm rolling. This rolling of my quads is happening underneath me, but it's happening under this, underneath a stable upper body that is the number one spot for the turn. And then I roll, and then I roll. I'm slowly adding pressure at this point. The tip's bending, starting to go. I'm feeling that, and I'm trying to get it turned around. And I'm trying to move so that when I start pointing that way, I'm in full control again. So I'm moving with it, getting down there. I'm pushing harder. This is I've got a little bit of tension here, but not a lot. At this point, I'm just trying to balance in, level shoulders. And then here, I'm pushing to the outside again. Now I've pushed to the outside, and now I've got pressure on my tip, my middle, and my tail like I did before, and now I'm ready for that tip G force to come at me. Tip, and then I start balling here again. And then I move through to the next turn. That is a breakdown in base skiing. Get in your living room, try it. We're gonna look at this freeze frame again, because it's the best front view turn I have. And we're just gonna use this, but I am gonna be going left foot to right foot here for this demonstration. So here we go, it's slowing down, one second per frame. Stepping through it, here's the load. My knees are coming towards my chest slightly, but I'm still loading here. I mean, I'm still loading, still turning, riding, riding, riding now, transitioning, lift, floating, floating, floating. Now pressure is coming, now I'm pressuring, now I'm pressuring, long extension. Here we go. Hip down here because of the angulation. A lot of forces through here, holding, getting ready to go the next way. Here we go one more time, still on the left foot. Notice how long I spend from the apex in this part of the turn. I'm riding, I'm doing a substantial part of the turn, just riding the skis here. I feel like I hang out in this part of the turn. A really good run for me has the feeling that I've spent the whole time in that part of the turn going in the direction that's towards the camera, not the fall line. Here we go, here's the float. I'm floating, not a lot of pressure on the skis. Floating, I'm turning turning into it, a lot of extension coming, a lot of extension coming. Here it comes, full angulation. The apex might not be the most important part of the turn, but let's face it, it's definitely the coolest. It is important to practice apex positions. You can really get a feel for where your angles are at. I call this one scrunchy angles. And this one, a simple base position. Every apex may look different coming down the hill, but they're all part of your style. There is no right apex. Practice these in your own home. Get your chairs out, get your stools out, start practicing these things. Anybody can make these turns with the appropriate amount of strength. And then you learn the balance here. And once you have it, it's the best feeling in the world. Keep shredding. Here we go, left foot. Now we're on the left foot side. I'm in my position, I'm a little rotated. Here we go, we're moving through it. Moving through it, knees are still going that way. Going that way, here we go. Here comes the float. I'm pushing my feet out, long extension on the way in. Able to get a deep hip angle due to it. And there I am right there in that position. Long extension on the way in. Let's go back to the start. Next turn. Okay. Apex right there. I'm pretty stacked up with everything. Pretty long through the legs. Shoulders again tipping in. Here we go. Load coming in. I'm resisting it here. Standing up taller. A little quicker transition. A lot of float right there. Now I'm loading. Loading. Stand pretty upright. I'm just going in that direction. 
that's the turn. These turns were really fun. I really like skiing this pitch, it's super fun. I am on a 180 Brahma, 88 underfoot, a great ski for these conditions. If you'd like to see these movements done as a yoga flow, click on this video right here. And if you'd like to get down to the bare truth about base skiing, click on this one right here. Keep shredding. Yeah. <sighs>